Yeah, well, tell us why. What, what makes Kansas City Chiefs such a big seller right now in terms of Super Bowl champ merchandise? Sure. Well, first, a little bit salty for me. I'm a big Eagles fan. I'm from Philadelphia. I know. Sorry. Eagles would, would, have been, <laughs> would have been even a better outcome for fanatics and for business. But <laughs> that said, Kansas City is still great champion. I think they're 15% better than they were two years ago. Uh, and look, they've got great fans. I mean, Kansas City has, you know, incredible fans. Uh, they, 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 love their, they love their football team, and they're coming out and showing incredible support. So incredibly uh, happy for Chiefs fans. But as a strong Eagles fan this morning, not waking up feeling very happy, but I'm looking forward to uh, the bright future that they have as well. Yeah, I know. I, I knew you were from Philly, so, so sorry for the loss. Look, I, I wanted to ask you just in general how the how the business is doing. If you're a private company. We don't hear about it that much. In, in general, how, how's it been going when it comes to merch? You, yeah. you cover all the leagues across categories. What does the business look like? Absolutely. Yeah, business overall has been very good. I mean, obviously, look, we're a consumer company, and every consumer business is a little bit off uh, from what it would have been. But last year, we grew 19% organically in the merchandise business. That's our biggest business. This year, um, we'll grow kind of in the low to mid kind of double digits. So still tremendous growth for us. I mean, look, sports secondly is very strong. And I think our business that continues to grow not only domestically, but globally just has tremendous demand. So you know, we're, we're approaching this year will be uh, almost uh, $8 billion in revenue. And that's without all the trading card rates to kick in over the next couple of years from the NFL, the NBA, college, WWE, UFC. So for us, business has been, uh, I think, really strong overall. Right. So I, I was going to start asking you about some of the, the, the levers that you're going to pull when it comes to new revenue streams. Live shopping for these, for these cards, for the Tops business. I know you've, been, you've made a big hire. What, what, is the, what is the vision here? I don't know that a lot of Americans do their shopping in, in a live way, but I know a lot of companies like a Walmart or Amazon or eBay have all been interested in it. Yeah, well, first, live shopping in China is a massive business. I think it's like about $600 billion of revenue this year. So it's pretty nascent in America today, but we believe long term it's going to be a meaningful business. And what's so exciting for us about launching Fanatics Live and having Nick Bell join as CEO is that trading cards and collectibles are the single biggest category in North America in live shopping. It's probably, probably 20% of the entire business. So Fanatics today being such a strong player in trading cards and collectibles has an inherent advantage. It can really build something incredible for collectors. So we're excited to launch later this year, have a great leader in Nick Bell, great vision of Fanatics Live, and uh, we, believe, we believe in the business long term. And for us, we like to plant seeds on things that we think are going to benefit our fans, be good for innovation long term, and Fanatics Live certainly falls within that um, you know, thought process. I, th I think of the it's like a modern day home shopping network. Is that the right idea? What, what de even is it? De de definitely. Yeah. I mean, it really think about, I think if you thought about, you know, QVC or HSN, you know, kind of with great brands, you know, through the internet. I mean, that's the most basic and simple way to think about it. It's live shopping uh, through the internet. And if you think about it, you've got so much great content in sports. That's a great way to launch um, live shopping. And, and I think you're going to see a lot more companies go after this. Again, today in our China business, as an example, it's about 50% of our revenue. So if you look at like the NBA's revenue in China, it's half of our revenue comes from live shopping. People watching mm. different hosts talk about the products live and buying them. And we have so many great people involved, whether it's the 3,000 athletes that we have under contract today uh, that can, you know, host different content with us. And, you know, so I think this will be something that will be incredibly exciting in the sports business. You're also jumping on the, the sports betting bandwagon, which, which was obviously really big for the Super Bowl. And there, and there have been great high hopes about this, even though some of the stocks have been disappointing, like a DraftKings. What, what are your plans, and when, is, when does that launch? Yeah, so we are big believers in online sports betting and iGaming long term. I think it's been our view that we have real inherent advantages. Today, Fanatics has close to 100 million fans that, that we work with over 60 million buyers within our merchandise business alone. Uh, then we have additional collectors in the trading card and collectibles business. And so we think, if you think about online sports betting and iGaming, it will be a very big business long term. And we think we have real inherent advantages based on the strength of our brand, the strength of our customer base. And so I agree with you. The stocks have been disappointing, but I think they were just way really overvalued in the early days. But if you say, will this be a big business long term? The answer is yes. And do we have inherent strategic advantages? Absolutely. So we're going to launch 
in beta by the end of March. I think by the end of this year, we'll be basically in, in every major state in the U.S., uh, other than New York, where it's very hard to make money with a 51% tax. But we're really yep. bullish on what this means for us long term. And half of our customers today tell us that they want to gamble with us, that they already do online sports mm. betting, that Fanatics would be a great place for them to place bets.